Welcome to New England where the Free Jacks are looking for their ninth consecutive win. All Glory DC are here to see if they can upset the Boston Tea Party. They kick to Dougie Fife that grabs this one, the Scottish International for okay, the Free Jacks. Yeah. Wide ball for Jesse Paretti, he gets on the outside angle. It's almost isolated as Jack Ascaro tried to get in there, but Poland comes in. Number nine gets tackled, it's the second penalty in a row and the second blast of the whistle. And we go straight to the pocket, it's a yellow card, good night. Brilliant skills, brilliant tactics from Danny Tusatala. He's up front of the lineup. Sonny Reby finds the Dutch giant. Stan Vandenhoven. Ball at the back now for Mills. Sonny Reby as the ball drives forward. Sonny Reby reaches. He's over. It's the opening try of the game. Belongs to the New England Free Jacks. And the Taranaki tank gets it in. I mean, just this is just class execution from this Free Jack side. They're up against a DC side who's one forward short from that yellow card and just really organizing the drive. You see some backs getting involved there. The center's coming in. Walker looking to turn five into seven, and he's done just that. New England needs seven nothing after seven minutes. Clearly just not the right target. Three points on offer here from in front. Rowan Soifaloi turns quickly. Flags go up. It's Old Glory DC that lead New England 8-7 with five minutes to play in this first half. Poland has a go himself. Gap closes quickly, but Sequeira is there. Peretti in at nine. Vion Conradi with his captain Conradi. Against Phyllis Kalapu. Peretti. Just short for New England. They're saying he scored. Referee Asmus will have to go upstairs to David Audrey to see if Jesse Peretti has put down try number two for the Free Jack. I mean, Jesse Peretti, that was great. Way to recognize where the line was, get that extension, and get those points on the board when New England desperately needed it. Waka. Smashes two more on the board. It's 14 points to eight. Things are looking different so far now for the home crowd. Kalapu, great carry from the loose forward. To Satala with a little jump step of his. To Satala in open space. Danny to Satala. How good is he? Just shot the line. Junior Sal dives in. It's a bulldozing try from All Glory DC. And after that, to Satala, little break. Yeah, it's so good to see Danny Tussatala running at the base because he can create so much havoc around the fringes. He draws in so many defenders, opens up that space for Junior South. Soy Floyd, to put up DC in the lead again. No mistake, 15-14. South is there on D. Bodies flying in back play. Slade McDowell with advantage for the Free Jacks. As Poland comes digging in with the advantage, they can create some havoc out wide here. Vandenbank, Wayne Vandenbank, it's Wayne's world, party on! Says Vandenbank. They forced him to work for it. New England had the advantage, they spun it out. Looked like nothing was on here, right? They're running side to side, but the DC defense just a little bit disjointed. Lovely ball. Out the back it comes, Talatena. Lasanga on the outside, oh no! Why are we going back? We want to see how this one would have ended. You can't let it, can't give away penalty like that. DC third season MLR, they lose the line out. Larson whips it away. Mitch Wilson comes to tidy things up for New England. Poland at the base. Milan comes in from the inside center position with Van der Bank. Joe Johnson waits patiently with Larson on his inside. Joe Johnson, the mechanic. Revs up to the 22. Poland wants quick ball. Lovely pass to Harrison Boyle. Balakana looking for space on the outside. Gives it to Dougie Fife. Dougie Fife. Boston Red Sox fanatic. Dishes it off. Spencer Kruger. Last season he was in junior contract. He worked nights at a shipping company while playing rugby here to boost his income. Poland. Still to the forwards. They work. New England looking to shut out this game with three to play. They pick around, Vanderbank yet again, Wayne Vanderbank. What a brilliant pick up from the outside center. Right near the line, they've got to score here in New England. They'll pick it up and dot this one down. And the Eastern Conference leaders confirm their place on the standings with a match-winning score in the corner. Slade McDowell getting the five. But you know what? New England has ground out some wins their season. I think this DC side now is starting to look a little bit tired late in the game. I mean, that pick there over the top, just falling asleep around the fringes, giving this New England side a chance to get right.
the Free Jacks now up 26 points to 15. Just over a minute to go, John Poland takes over the kicking duties after Bodine Wacker has gone to the sideline injured. Nice strike, but it'll stay to the left. And definitely vulnerable. And I think other teams will be watching and figuring out, okay, here's how we can pick this Free Jacks team apart down the line. Yeah, a lot of match footage still to come for the other side. Danny Thomas is on the field. Tiny Donso skirts around the right hand side with Lasanga. Lasanga busting free. Penny Lasanga has beaten four players into the 22. He's electric with ball in hand. Thomas turns it back to Soifaloi. Taratena now. Bit of space for Junior Sado operates. He feeds. Fraser looking for the corner. Fraser's in. Doug Fraser scores for DC. And they've deserved that score. 26 points to 20. Ball goes to hand. Sal, we've seen a lot of him today. And then Frazier gets his second one of the night in the corner. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. I mean, look, not that we're rooting against the Free Jacks here, but I'll tell you what, that that bonus point, or uh, that losing bonus point, Old Glory DC has earned every bit of that. Well, the Free Jacks remain undefeated at Veterans Memorial Stadium tonight. They've beaten Old Glory DC for the second time this season, winning 26-20 in round 14 of Major League Rugby. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.